Hey everybody, uh, just a real quick video on Starfield if you are trying or wanting to adjust your FOV setting. Uh, by default, it is pretty zoomed in and playing around with this can increase your field of view quite a bit and what you see on screen, uh, if that's your preference. Uh, unfortunately, they don't actually have an FOV setting in this game. Uh, however, there is a pretty easy workaround, which I'll demonstrate. Uh, it involves creating a .ne file and putting that into one of your Starfield game folders. So I'll kind of walk through how you go about doing that uh, and then maybe you know demonstrate the impact that it has to your view on screen. Uh, also, kind of a quick disclaimer, I don't believe this will cause any sort of like game-breaking problems or anything like that, but maybe just sort of a quick do-at-your-own risk warning. So this is all you really need to do. Uh, I've got it kind of uh, in notepad up there in the upper left corner of the screen. Uh, it's just a text file. You want to save it as starfieldcustom.ini, and I'll put all this information in the description uh, of the video. Uh, and then the path there, uh, for, uh, this is by default unless you change this, but it would be documents uh, slash my game slash starfield. So you want to save that in that folder. Um, looking at what's actually in there, so the brackets and camera, that's just kind of the label. And then the FFP stands for first person and then the FTP stands for third person. So you can adjust those uh, individually if you want to do that. And then obviously the number is your FOV value. So I have this set at 110. I'm guessing by default the game's probably around 80, maybe 70, 80. Um, I typically like to have around 100, 110 FOV. I, I haven't played around with this, but I would guess, I don't know if there's a max, but I would guess the max is maybe around 120. Um, but you can play around with that and set different settings. Uh, once you get all this created, uh, again, put it in that folder, you can restart the game and you should see the impact to your FOV change. All right, so now that we've got the .ne file in place, we can kind of look at some comparisons here. Uh, I'll kind of cycle through these and then do some side-by-side -side comparisons so you can get a better idea. But uh, right now we're looking at the default FOV, so no any file or anything like that. And looking at the three different views, we've got the first person view, the third person view, and then kind of the zoomed out third person view. Uh, now we'll look at the .ini file, and then I'll kind of do some side-by-side -side comparisons as well. And now we're looking at the 110 uh, field of view setting using the any file. Uh, as you can see, pretty big difference. Uh, I might actually drop this down to 100. This might be a, too, a little bit too much for me actually, but uh, here is the third person view and then the other third person view. So you can see uh, quite a bit of a drastic difference and you can see quite a bit more of the game uh, with the setting in place. All right, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and allows you to customize your FOV a little bit more to whatever your preference is. Uh, again, I'll have some of that information in the description of the video. And uh, thanks for watching and we will see you later. Bye.